Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Daily Baptist Bread Devotional for Friday, uh, May 8th, and it is still 2020, and we are still getting through today, amen, and continue to pray for our leaders in this country and for our president, and pray that uh, that we get the right leaders in for another four years, and pray that we can still continue to keep our freedoms and liberties and rights, and uh, pray that the churches can still assemble and that these dictators out there, pray for them. Um, we shouldn't really be talking bad about anybody, but uh, pray for them and pray that they'll come to the Lord and trust Jesus as their Savior. And um, just pray for everyone in every country, all those uh, missionaries out there, pray for them also. Amen. All right. Well, this is Brother Scott bringing you these devotionals each and every day as I'm able to. And we'll start off with the daily scripture song and uh so i'd like to greet you as always in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ who is the lamb of god which taketh away the sin of the world and so today we'll be uh in the scripture song is isaiah from isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 and uh these are uh scripture songs that brother dean and sister patty runyon put together and they're missionaries uh to guyana and south america but they're back here in uh, the States right now because of uh, him having some uh, issues, uh, health issues right now, but pray for all those that have taken over over there in Guyana for him while he's uh, back here in the States, and pray they can get back over there to do uh, VBS. I uh, know Sister Patty's planning on going over there. Pray that uh, this doesn't hinder her from going over there, and um, perhaps I might be going over there too. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'd like to go over there, but uh, just kind of holding off on buying the ticket yet just to see what kind of happens here and uh, see where it goes so <clears throat> pray for that and so let's uh, get started here and i'll push play and we will sing this song a couple times and then we'll get into the topic which is titled i'm just a visitor here and then we'll do the proverbs reading at the end and then we'll sing this song a couple more times and maybe do a review of one of the earlier songs from the beginning of the month amen so let's get started all right, press play here. Hope this is loud enough here. Isaiah 40, 31. Okay. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. All right, here we go. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And they mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk. And the they shall mount up with wings. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall hunt up with wings. Then wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. Hmm. All right, let's do this one more time. Isaiah 40, 31. Amen. But they that wait upon the Lord shall <laughs> renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk. All right, if you know the words, sing along. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. One more time. Upon the Lord 
shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. That's a good scripture song for today. Amen. All right. So we'll try to do that at least once or twice more and then maybe do a, a review song from earlier in the beginning of the month. Amen. All right. So let's get started on this topic of I'm just a visitor here. And we'll be reading uh, John 14 verses 1 through 2. <clears throat> it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. This is Jesus speaking. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Amen. So we shouldn't uh, uh, let our heart be troubled. Amen. We shouldn't be fearful of what's going on around us. Amen. Because we are safe in the Lord. And no matter what happens out there, we should keep trusting Jesus. And sometimes we get our eyes focused on the situation and the trouble and instead of keeping our eyes on the Lord. And uh, so let's uh, make sure we're always looking towards the Lord and trusting Him and going to Him in prayer about everything and instead of fretting about it and worrying about it because a lot of it there's nothing we can do about. We just got to pray that it goes the right way. And, of course, we know how it ends, that uh, <clears> the <throat> Lord is victorious. Amen. And we'll be victorious with the Lord. That is, if you're saved, if you're not saved, well, today is the day of salvation, and today is the day to put your faith and trust in Jesus alone. Amen. All right, so today's author is, uh, is that J.C.? Or I.C.? Okay, I.C. Uh, that is the initials for, let's see here, I.C. Where are we? All right, that would be uh, Ivan Castell. And he's a retired pastor from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So Ivan Castell, C-A-S-T-E-E-L, Castell. Amen. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started on this topic. And it says here as we uh, read what he wrote, uh, he says, The thought of heaven has cheered the soul of many believers. And uh, what should cheer our soul more than heaven is Jesus Christ, because you can go to heaven and Jesus wouldn't be there. And so... We should uh, um, be cheered in the soul that uh, Jesus saved us, amen? And yes, one day we will go to heaven, but we're not going to be up there forever. And we'll be back down here with Jesus when he sets up his earthly kingdom, amen? And so there will be a time when we go up there to meet him in the uh, clouds and be in heavenly places for a while. And then we'll be back down here and ruling and reigning with him down here, amen? So... Not just heaven that we should cheer about, but, but our Lord and Savior also. All right, continuing on here, he says, Some say that we are fools to believe in heaven, <laughs> but uh, we are. Uh, they say we are uh, fools to believe in heaven because they say there is no such thing as heaven and there is no such thing as hell, but yet some people believe there's a devil but not a god. <laughs> there can't be a, a devil without a god because uh, so, and there can't be a hell without a heaven, right? So, some say that we are fools to believe in heaven, uh, but to, not, to, not, to deny heaven is to deny Jesus, for he came from heaven, amen? From the third heaven, we got the first heaven, which is the sky, and then the second heaven, which is out there in space, and then we have the third heaven, which is God's throne, amen? Uh, continuing on here, denial of glory would be to place our loved ones in a cold, dark grave and deprive Christians of the greatest hope we have, the blessed hope, amen, that blessed hope. So we should always be looking for that blessed hope, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That is, if you're saved, amen, to deny heaven is nigh unto murder, for it would kill hope like thievery, for it would rob us of joy and to slander deity, for it would call God a liar. Right. An American tourist visited the 19th century Polish rabbi uh, Haftes uh, Ch uh, Chaim 
Ahavtiev Cheyam, H-O-F-E-T-Z, C-H. A-I-M, Haftiez Cheyam, I guess that's how you pronounce that. I apologize if I pronounced it wrong. He was astonished to see that the rabbi's home was only a simple room filled with books, a table, and a bench. The visitor asked, Rabbi, where is your furniture? Where is yours? replied the rabbi in return. (laughs) Mine? he asked. The puzzled American asked, I am a visitor here. I'm just passing through. So am I, said uh, Haftiez Cheyam. That is a response that can only be made by believers in Christ. Amen. There were just visitors here that were pilgrims and strangers on the earth, and they were just passing through. And this is not our home. Amen. Our home is with Jesus. Um, So praise the Lord for that. Uh, This is the response that can be the only... uh, can only be made by believers in Christ with the, that hope within us. For we are looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13. Amen. So I hope you're looking for that blessed hope and that glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you're not, well, you're on your way to a devil's hell and going to die in your sin and perish for all eternity. But friend, Jesus wants to save your soul. God said he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance and put their faith and trust in his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, that will end it for our topic on I'm just a visitor here. And if you're saved, you're just a visitor here too. Amen. And One day we'll be up there with Jesus in heavenly places. Amen. When we get caught up to be with him in the air or we die first and go be with him that way. Amen. So hope and pray you have put your faith and trust in Jesus alone. And if not, well, today is the day to do so. Amen. Jesus saith that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. Amen. All right. Get a drink there really quick. Before we continue on. Okay, so now let us get into the daily proverb. And we'll be in Proverbs chapter 8. And this is all about wisdom. And talking about wisdom. So we will get into the proverb chapter 8. If you have your Bible handy, please turn along with me. And we will get started here on this daily proverb. Alright, so chapter 8 verse 1 saith... Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. Amen. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. Amen. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Amen. Riches and honor are with me. Ye er, yea, the dur- durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. 
I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Uh, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought, uh, before the hills was I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depths, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. When he gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him, as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Uh, hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain the favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, and they that hate me love death. Mm. Amen. All right. So that is it for the proverb for today about wisdom. And I believe tomorrow talks about wisdom also a little bit. So praise the Lord. And uh, so tomorrow's uh, devotional will be titled A Divided Heart. So that will be tomorrow's topic. Amen. And now let's uh, go ahead and sing this scripture song a couple more times. And... Uh, so we'll be uh, singing Isaiah 40, verse 31 again. So let me press play. Amen. All right. Isaiah 40, <clears throat> 31. Amen. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew Praise their the Lord. strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk run. and not faint. Okay, here we go. Hope you learning the song. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. All right, let's go back to the third and sing the song from the third of this month, the third day. All right. Proverbs 27, 2. Amen. Let another man praise thee. And yes, not we should let another man praise thee, not our own lips. Alright, let's uh, sing this one more time. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. Let another man, let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. All right, let's go back to uh, back to today's, and we'll sing today's one more time, and then we'll wrap it up. Amen. 40, 31. 
Amen. But they that wait upon the Lord this is a good shall renew song. their strength. They shall mount up with wings as Amen. eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. <laughs> but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall wait up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today. Amen. And before I go... If you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, as I spoke of throughout this broadcast, today is that day to trust Him as your Savior. As the Bible says, as Paul and Silas told the Philippian jailer when he asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They didn't say, get baptized with water. They didn't say, do a bunch of good works and thou shalt be saved. They didn't say, uh, go to church and thou shalt be saved. They didn't say, pay your tithes and thou shalt be saved. They said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. And so, it's very simple. All you have to do is confess your sinner, that you've sinned against the Holy God, and that you need a Savior. And that's why Jesus came down to this earth, and was born of a virgin, and lived a holy, sinless life, and was tempted in all points as we are but yet without sin, and then he went willingly to the cross and laid down his life for you and for me and was buried and rose again the third day according to Scripture. And if you believe that and that alone, then he will save your soul and wash away all your sin. Amen. So hope you'll trust him today. And thank you again for watching these uh, videos. And Lord willing, be back here later on for the daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of First Chronicles. Amen. So I hope you come back later for that. And um, I encourage you to go back if you have Facebook to go back and watch the um, the um, broadcast from uh, Lighthouse Baptist Church that we did last night. And a uh, good message from Brother Mike Basile that he did last night on sin. And uh, so praise the Lord for that. And all sorts of good singing and uh, lots of special stuff going on there and praise the lord for for us to be able to do that and pray for those in in guyana that have taken over the work again for uh brother dean uh um pray for all those men and women uh sister keisha and sister celine and sister sassy and brother uh junior and um all those men over there and women and pray that uh they'll continue to serve the lord and um keep on the right path and amen so all right well Thanks again for watching, and if you want to listen to these scripture songs all day long, this one will be playing on the website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That is Brother Dean and Sister Patty's missionary website, and they put their scripture songs on there every day, and you can go down there and uh, order the CDs, or I think you can probably download them uh, through MP3 format also. Amen. So... And tomorrow's scripture song will be, uh, let's see, it'll be Proverbs thirteen fifteen, And it says, Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. So that'll be tomorrow's scripture song. Amen. Well, till next time, this is Brother Scott signing off. May the Lord richly bless you. And y'all have a great and wonderful rest of your Friday. And... Just get out there and tell somebody about Jesus today, amen? Because even in this time, people need Jesus now more than ever. doesn't seem that many are seeking his face, but 
God Almighty, Jesus, is uh, looking and uh, wanting people to be saved even today. Amen. So let's get out there and get in the highways and the byways and out there in the streets and go hand out gospel tracts, go talk to somebody, go hold some signs out on the street corner, uh, however you're able to do it. I know some places you're not able to do it like we used to do it, but um, still get out there and somehow we get the gospel out. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, till next time. Bye-bye for now.